could see another spike in unemployment filings since non-essential businesses will be closing in the coming days. Yesterday alone, in fact, our state received 38,000 calls about unemployment. Everything from eligibility to how to apply. Now, as bills begin piling up for small business owners, some are now coming up with new ways to make ends meet. In fact, Michael's Soul Kitchen is a restaurant and jazz lounge. It's been open for about a year. Last week, the owners were forced to close. Owner Connie Oates told us she'll apply for loans or grants, but says the need is immediate. In fact, there were about 20 employees that worked there, and many of whom were also laid off from their second jobs. I don't really think you understand how blessed you are until something's gone, and especially if it's gone overnight. Oates went on to tell us she'll begin offering carryout, partnering with delivery services like Grubhub. She wants to offer low-cost meals to seniors to try and bring in some extra money. Well, there are a lot of self-employed Hoosiers who are not eligible for unemployment. Don't worry, though, tonight. Our state is looking into that issue. They're told they'll be giving us an update tomorrow. And the governor set up a hotline to answer questions and guide companies through this stay-at-home order. This hotline had more than 1,000 calls just today. We've got the phone number that you see here and the email address on your screen. They're also posted tonight on WTHR.com.